everyone, so I'm not too sure if this is a good angle or not, but I'm just gonna go for it. Hope you're having a good day, afternoon, evening, whenever you are watching this video. So I am here today on a creaky bed that I kind of need to re-screw so that it doesn't creak anymore. Um, to do all of my physical unread books, just to catalogue all of them. I have so many that I'm not going to be giving you a synopsis. Perhaps there'll be a synopsis here and there for ones that I'm really excited to get to or things that I'm inspired of all of a sudden to read soon I don't know um, <laughs> also this is kind of like an unofficial <laughs> series of sorts I thought it would make sense to put this video up first um, because I'm gonna be reorganizing my bookshelves soon and I think I've spoken about how in my head I want to reorganize them briefly um, I think I'm fixed on the idea but if you have any ideas on how I can set up my bookshelves behind me do let me know and um, currently it's like a mix and match of like favourite authors and then specific genres but it's, it's very messy um, so if I can see what I've got unread I can better know what genres I've got and sort of organise it in that way um, but yeah if you see any books here that you absolutely adore rank them like in your top five um, of the ones to get to next it's going to be a long video so make notes perhaps I don't know Without further ado, let's get started. I do have a few little clips that I want to insert first, just because they're the awkward place, awkward um, to get to places, sort of, um, places that I'd forget I'd have books. So here's those clips. So for all my unread physical books, um, I wanted to make a note of the ones that are underneath my desk, just because I know I'm most likely going to forget those. So starting from over here, we have Eve of Man by Giovanna and Tom Fletcher. Hush Hush Parts 1 and 2 by Becca Fitzpatrick Hemodius and Sapiens both by Yuval Noah Harare Then down here, um, I know it gets a bit dark, sorry guys But we've got Neil Gaiman's Norse Mythology Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Lodge Alice by Christina Henry Witches Pyre, Fire Walker and Trial by Fire I'm not sure if it's in that order, I don't know if that's just the random order that I popped them in. All by Josephine Angelini. Mark, oh it gets really dark, sorry guys. Mark Hodder's Expedition to the Mountains of the Moon. Sylvia Hunter's Lady of Magic and the Midnight Queen. Um, the Final Empire, the first book of the Mistborn series by Brian Sanderson. And then we'll shuffle over here, I'll try not to let the candle on top of my desk burn in my face. Um, but we've got... James and the Giant Peach by Raul Dahl. Tommy Adeyemi's, or is it Tommy Adeyemi? Um, Children of Blood and Bone. A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass. Philip Pullman's Northern Lights, the graphic novel, um, part one, I believe. Twelve Years a Slave, a true story by Solomon Northup. The Way of Kings, part two by Brandon Sanderson. Roald Dahl's Deception, Tales of Intrigue and Lies. Dead of Night, A Frontline Story by Michael Grant. This was one of the World Book Day books for, I want to say, 2016. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I really love this edition. I think it's absolutely stunning. I got this from Foils. The Light Between Oceans by M. L. Steadman. I got given this by Maria ages ago to borrow and then just to keep and I've still not got around to reading this or watching the film. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Evelyn High, The Merlin Prophecy by Meg Cabot. I keep wanting to include this in manga readathons, however this is part of a series and I can't find the other series elsewhere. I got given this with a stack of random manga and I don't want to buy it so I'm going to see again if my library has it in stock or if I can order it from a library just to borrow because as I mentioned I don't want to buy the series. Lolita by Vladimir Nabovic. <laughs> can never tell his last name. Nabokov. In here I keep it nice and protected, I don't know why, I guess if I want to do a video about it. But this is a book I got given by Little Tiger or it comes by two different names, bear with me. It's the Little Tiger group but I think it's also known as Stripes, I don't know if it's like a subdivision of the same um, publishing house. But it's book two of um, something Ophelia, I can't remember the first book but I really really enjoyed the first one. And I got this last year, I think. This is Unveiling Venus by Sophia Bennett, which, as I mentioned, is book two of that series. 
George R. R. Martin's The World of Ice and Fire, An Untold History of Westeros and the Game of Thrones. I can't read this until I've caught up with all the books because I feel like it could possibly spoil something. If you've read that one, do let me know if it does spoil and then I'll be able to judge when I can read it or when I can't read it. <laughs> Philip Pullman's The Book of Dust. This is very dusty because it's been down here for a little while. I was so excited for this, but I've got a video idea in mind um, utilising Philip Pullman. So saving that for a rainy day. Then we've got the Victoria Letters by The Heart and Mind of a Young Queen by Helen Rappaport. Now this I think is the second one. I've got the first book. I don't think this is the first book, but I've not read the first one yet. <laughs> oh, hold on. No, that's the first one. Followed by the second one, which is Victoria and Albert, official companion to the ITV series A Royal Love Affair. So there we go. Again, I don't know which one's <laughs> the um, first or the second. This one's by Daisy Goodwin and Sarah Sheridan. I believe Daisy Goodwin actually wrote the books that inspired, I know it's obviously inspired by Queen Victoria, but there's like a book series she did and then I think that's adapted into the TV show. So she's got quite a lot of um, influence, what's the word, influence um, on the show I think she does some of the screenwriting and obviously with these books and then this one down here this isn't an unread it's a current read for the past like three or four years and it's folklore myths and legends of Britain so yeah on to I guess the rest of the video oh and just to neaten it up I've stacked it on a shelf that I haven't yet attached to my wall I'm not sure if I'm still going to but I've put it sort of like this so it hugs the book and keeps it neat if you can see that in the darkness sorry there and just roughly put them sort of stacked like that so they're not like jutting right out underneath the desk because I'm always knocking my feet on those. Okay so before I go into the main bulk of the video these are the books that I have in my mum's bookshelf and um, the rest of it is hers but then these were like at the time a current TBR but then I've just put like a load of random ones on there as well. So I have my A Song of Ice and Fire book set by George R. R. Martin. Then I've got Steampunk Poe, I don't know who it's by, um, one of Bernard um, Cornwell's books, Vagabond, I've still not read any of those, another one called Excalibur, and then I have like a set of old um, children books that I don't want to get rid of, so I've got like language learning ones, I've got the BFC Young Book of Poetry, um, Young Animals, Everyday Life Through the Ages, and then I've got some books over here as well. Artemis Fowl I never finished, Fallen I've never finished. Um, these two manga that my brother gave me by uh, Ahmed, I don't know, I can't read the last name because of the font and I can't read what it's called. I think it says Chocolat, I can't, I don't know what that says. Um, and then um, and some more children books and like Bibles and stuff. So yeah, now we can get on to the main part of the video. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the rest of my physical unread books. Starting with the newest uh, currently in my collection. So, let's just get cracking. So we have the complete first edition, the original folk and fairy tales of the Brothers Grimm, translated and edited by Jack Zipes. And the Ocean Was Our Sky by Patrick Ness, um, illustrated by Ravina Kaya. The Witch's Journal, Charm Spells, Potions and Enchantments by Celine Silverwind. The Complete Guide to Chakras, Vintage Edition, Unleash the Positive Power Within by Waters. I don't know if that's the publishing company. I don't know if it actually has a specific author. Doesn't seem to say. Similar book here, but does seem to have an author, um, or an obviously named one for my mind. The Book of Spells, Vintage Edition, Ancient and Modern Formulations, um, to bring the power of Good to Your Life, Your Love, Your Work and Your Play by Nicola D. Pulford. The Little Book of Crystals by Judy Hall. So those are the books that are most recent to my collection. Now getting started on this massive, oh wow the camera's going funny, this massive um, Lego box which is not filled with Lego. It is filled with books and this is one that I keep in my mum's room, I feel bad. <laughs> I do have series so keep that in mind but they're not going to be older. I I think I started ordering series and books at some point that you might see later on in the video, but I gave up after a while. So, we have J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, illustrated by Jim Kay. World of Warcraft, Ultimate Visual Guide, um, it's just a DK publication one. The Middle Ages, the Illustrated History of the Medieval World by Anita Baker. 
Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials, The Definitive Guide by Laurie Frost. Lady Midnight, um, the first book in the Dark Artifices series, um, a Shadowhunter novel by Cassandra Clare. I haven't actually started this series yet, the, the original series, let alone or the spin-offs, what well, it seems to be a spin-off, I don't know. <laughs> the First Elizabeth by Carolee F. Erickson. The Complete Chronicles of Conan by Robert E. Howard. This is one that my brother gave me um, a few years back and it's lighter than you would think. Tom Singh's The Book of Wisdom based on the ancient Chinese Almanac, or Almanac, Alman, how do you say that? Almanac. Um, it's a Windridge and Sheng publication, I think. Oh my god, I forgot I had this book. Doctor Who Time Lord Fairy Tales by... I think it's just published by BBC Doctor Who. This Book Loves You by PewDiePie. My mum was right, she did get me a copy of the Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. <laughs> but I'm a collector, I guess, so... I've got another edition, I guess. Um, this is a Fall River one. Again, I don't know if that's a company, like a publishing company, or if that's an author. Damn it, I'm going to have to let my mum know that she was right. So let me put those books together. I mean, luckily I didn't pick up the same edition, am I right? They're very beautiful. Terry Pratchett's The Wit and Wisdom of Discworld. Um, yeah. I'm upset because some of these books are like bent out of shape. I don't know if you can tell um, from how they slanted because um, mum put stuff on top of the box that they were in. She was totally allowed to, it's her room, but then I saw my books and I almost cried. <laughs> Uh, Rainbow Rowell's Carry On, Dorothy Must Die and The Wicked Will Rise by Danielle Page, The Silkworm by Robert Galabrath aka J.K. Rowling, The Canavan's The Ambassador's Mission, an Alexia Taraboti novel Changeless by Gal Carragher, How's Moving Castle by Diana Wine Jones, Trudy Canavan Voice of the Gods, Conquest 1066 The Year of Destiny by Stuart Binns, Orcs Bad Blood Volume 1 Weapons of Magical Destruction by Stan Nichols or Nicholas I think. <laughs> David and Lee Eddins The Redemption of Alanthelus. I think this is a mass paperback edition. I don't really like these but I get quite a lot from like um, hospitals and charity shops and stuff so I see what I like and I get them. Galsy Martin's The Swarm. Big Elephants Are Useful. Compendium of Mnemonics and Idioms by S.J. Hartland. Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, which I think is an edition my brother stole from school when he was in secondary school. And I then stole it from him. The Bone Thief, A Time of Turmoil, Kingdom in Dispute, An Unlikely Hero by V.M. Whitworth. And that concludes all the books that are in that box. Okay. Oh shit, I think I might have dropped a book. If I did, it's lost forever now. Um, but Okay, so on to the books that I cheekily stuffed on my bookshelves over here, thinking, oh, I'll place them away sometime soon. They just lived there for the rest of the time. Um, again, I've got a few series bits and bobs on here. I'm not sure about the order of those. So, let's continue on, shall we? So we've got The Girl Who Played With Fire, which I think is the first one. No, this is the second one. And the third book, The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest by Stieg Larsson. These are books, again, I saw for cheap somewhere and I don't know if I'll ever end up reading them, but here they are. Joyland by Stephen King. The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden. This is the second book from the Bear in the Nightingale um, series. This is an arc I won on Goodreads, so this isn't the finished copy. The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick. This, I am so glad, I got it for like $1.99 in a charity shop and I don't know why I haven't started it yet. <laughs> We've got some more illustrated Jim K editions of J.K. Rowling books. So we have Chamber of Secrets and The Prisoner of Azkaban. I don't know why they're not together with the other one. DC Comics, The Ultimate Character Guide. I remember getting this when I was like trying to get into superheroes more when I was in secondary school and I ended up just drawing superheroes I think, I don't know if I actually read them. <laughs> Brian Froud's Fairy Tales um, by Brian and Randy Froud. This is the guy that did like the illustrations, the, the character design I believe for like Labyrinth, um, Dark Crystal and all that sort of stuff. I had read a book from the library of his before, Good Fairies, Bad Fairies and forever then since, I was that, that was a weird sentence, 
Since then I was looking for his books because I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I haven't stumbled across that book again yet but I saw this in like an Oxfam shop. Oh my god that's what's falling, it's my DVDs over there because they're not leaning against the heavy books. Um, but I found this in an Oxfam shop for really cheap so it's that one. Then we have Stephen King's Sleeping Beauty. Um, it's by Stephen King and Owen King, his son. This is a collector's edition exclusive to WH Smith. My mum's got a different edition, but this one is beautiful. If I remember correctly, the, the naked hardcover, yep, has a fox on it, which is really stunning. And lastly, that was stuffed on these shelves um, are these books I got when I was in Oxford Street by a guy um, that practices Buddha, Buddha, Buddha ship, Buddha, Buddhism. Um, but this one is Chant and Be Happy, The Power of Mantra Meditation, um, based on the teachings of His Divine Grace, AC, I can't pronounce those names. And then the other one is Bhagavad Gita As It Is, His Divine Grace, the same guy um, here. So it's just like spiritual teachers and stuff like that. So those are the books that were on my bookshelves that shouldn't really be there because of the specific order that I wanted them. But they were there nonetheless. <laughs> okay, onto box two. And this is the first lot that are underneath my bed. So, with a lovely unicorn cover. In here we have, oh, I just dropped something. Thrive, an environmentally conscious lifestyle guide to better health and true wealth by Kay Shane. This one is, I got given by um, the author. I got given two actually, and I gave one to my dad a few years back. I read this, um, as a net galley book on my kindle oh no at the time it was on my pc and i really really enjoyed it it's like a self-care um lifestyle guide book as it as it mentions and the author was really lovely to talk to she sent me two copies um but this is a great book i need to reread it just to ground me a bit more then we've got sophie's world by justine garda um apparently it's the 20th anniversary edition with a new introduction by the author messenger of fear by michael grant Dark Vision um, Volumes 1, 2 and 3, which is The Strange Power of the Possess and the Passion by L.J. Smith. Oh, this dust because it was underneath my bed and my nose is all itchy now. Um, this is the wrong way around. Future Tense, The Cinema of Science Fiction by John Brosnan. <laughs> Terry Brooks's The Dark Legacy of Shannara. Again, I don't know the order oh hold on it's telling me the order so the the scavenger trilogy by kt parker so we've got book one shadow book two pattern and book three memory royal assassin by robin hobb black beauty by anna sewell another set of books i don't have the complete books and i think i've got them in the order of some sort okay yeah i have them in some sort of order so these are the morganville's books i think yeah the morganville vampire books all by rachel kane so this is book three midnight alley book 11 <laughs> last breath book 13 bitter blood book 14 fall of the night or of night Book 12, oh okay, I didn't put them in a good order then, <laughs> Black Dawn. <laughs> and then we have some, oh they're a little bit dirty, I think that's how I got them to be honest, my mum's friend gave them to me, but they are Charles Dickens books, so they're in these lovely editions, I need to wipe them over though. Um, these are Oliver Twist, Great Expectations, A Tale of Two Cities, and David Copperfield, which is hench. <laughs> Okay, so on to box three, that's underneath my bed, um, I decided whilst it's clear under there I might as well hoover so I just did that, um, but this stuff is in a lovely owl box, so let's see what goodies we have in here. Ugh. Right, this is the box I think that's mainly Harry Potter stuff, so I'll try and do most of those together but depending on how they're placed it may not be easy to do so. Okay, so... Kobe Kruger's The Wilderness Family, At Home with Africa's Wildlife. The Illustrated Encyclopedia of Dreams by Anna Fornari, Emilio Rombaldini and Lynn Picknett. The Duchess by Amanda Foreman, um, I think this is yeah the movie um, edition of it with Kira Knightley. The Book of Beasts, Colour and Discover 
by Buster Books, it doesn't have an author. Then we've got the three little collectible books of Quidditch Through the Ages, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and The Towers of Beedle the Bard, all by J.K. Rowling. We've got the rest of the main series, if I can pick them up. So we have these editions, I love these editions, The Prisoner of Azkaban, The Goblet of Fire, The Order of the Phoenix, um, The Half-Blood Prince. Then, before listening is coming on, <gasps> whoa, it's so dusty under there. <laughs> then we've got this seventh one that was hidden from view, which is the Deathly Hallows. As well as that, we've got Harry Potter and the Cursed Child parts one and two. Onto stuff that doesn't seem to be Harry Potter related anymore. We've got the rest of the Raven Boy series. So the Dream Thieves and Blue Lily Lily Blue. I think it was a trilogy. No, it's not, it's a cycle. I don't have, that's it, the Raven King. I don't have that one. We've got another Bernard Cornwell book. This is Azincourt. Pendragon, Soldiers of Hala, Hala, Hala by DJ Mashal. Um, Jasper Kent's The People's Will Carol Patricia Highsmith this is one I keep thinking about but I keep forgetting that I actually own it I just remember the cover I don't really know too much of what it's actually about but that is Eleanor by James Gurley The Shannara Chronicles The Elfstones of Shannara by Terry Brooks The Godfather's Daughter An Unlikely Story of Love, Healing and Redemption by Rita Gigante, Gigante. Sacred Symbols, Colouring Experiences for the Magical and Mystical. It's the other way around. The Mystical and Magical. Illustrations by Lydia Hess. Terry Pratchett's Going Postal. We've got some random like science-y um, books. So this is from my university actually. This is Arena, issue five. And then we've got um, some old journals and such. This is the Proceedings of the Inaugural Symposium of Symposium of the British Wildlife Rehabilitation Council, edited by Stephen Harris and Tim Thomas. Then there's the Proceedings of the Third Symposium of the British Wildlife Rehabilitation Council, edited by Tim Thomas. And the Proceedings of the Symposium of the British Wildlife Rehabilitation Council 2000, edited by Dick Best and Marion Small, illustrations by Lynn Mustard. And then this is just like, I don't know, some sort of re the rescuer, which is like a little magazine, a science magazine. I still haven't read any of <laughs> I hope I don't see any spiders in here. Ugh. Next we have Geisha by Lisa Liza Dalby. And we've got An Atlas of Tolkien by David Day. Neil Gaiman's Annecy Boys, illustrated by Daniel... Igneous, Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Mass, which I'm going to keep out I think because I never remember if I've got the fourth book or not and I don't want to buy another one by accident. And the last book in here is a Reader's Digest um, book. This has The Distant Echo by Val McDermid, Trojan Odyssey by Clive Cussler, The Lady in the Unicorn by Tracy Shiveler and Blood in the Sky by Steve Hamilton. Those are all the books in that box. Box 4 is a much smaller one. It is box 4, isn't it? Yeah, box 4. So, oh, where's this come from? Right on top we have another science magazine. This is Digest, uh, Macula Society. I got this from the hospital. Then we have literally a select few amount of books. So small. So we have The Spooks Nightmare, which is... I don't know what number this is in the series, but this might be one of the ones that I won from Goodreads a while back and that got me started in the series. I think I've only read four of them. We've got The Naughtiest Girl in School and The Naughtiest Girl Again by Enid Blyton. I've actually read these, um, I just didn't know where to put them at the time that I was shuffling books around, I guess. There's the other one of the Spooks books that I won. This is Slither's Tale um, by Joseph Delaney. This one's number 11. The Dante Club by Matthew Pearl. Half a King by Joe Abercrombie. Boy Tales of Childhood by Roald Dahl. I might keep my Roald Dahl ones out because I keep looking for these and never find them. Um, the Witches and The Twits and Fantastic Mr. Fox, all by Roald Dahl. And the last book in here is Le Morte Dartha uh, by Sir Thomas Mallory. 
And lastly, the fifth box of unread books. It's making me think that it's not that many, but really, I need to get reading, don't I? So this one is fill up a bit more. So let's have a little look. And that will conclude this video. So we have another Reader's Digest book. This is Carter's Castle, The Great Husky Race, The Red Fox, The Flame of Trees of Thick, The Flame Trees of Thicker. <laughs> Agatha Christie, A Caribbean Mystery. City of Bones um, by Cassandra Clare. Serafina and the Twisted Staff by Robert Beatty. Thunder by RJ Palaccio. Julian Barnes's Arthur and George. One I keep in its cover for some reason, but it's Darwin's The Descent of Man. Room by Emma Donoghue. Black Mischief by Evelyn Wow. Our Arrivals, um, it's the biography of Taylor Lautner. Um, and this is Werewolf versus Vampire. And then on the other side, it's Vampire versus Werewolf. A Court of Mist and Fury by, I wanna say Furry, why did I wanna say that? By Sarah J. Maas. Seraphina and the Black Cloak, Cloak by Pete Robert Beatty. Little Bits of Sky by S.E. Durant. The Muse by Jesse Burton. City in Glass and City of Fallen Angels, both by Cassandra Clare. And lastly, The Memoirs of Cleopatra, a novel by Margaret George. Okay, April Fool's apparently. There's me thinking I finished um, doing the video when I realised I had another stack of books here. But I think this is it. I think this is the last stack. So if I just take that off there, we have... Wild Animals of Britain and Europe, a Collins Nature Guide. And then I'll just show you the spines for the other ones. So we have The Complete Mouse by Art Spiegelman. Um, Fables Wide Awake. Um, Fables 1001 Nights of Snowfall. This one, Hidden. Oh God, how am I going to do this? I think it's Liebird. And that's another one that Maria gave me. But there we go. That's right. So it's Liebird by Cecilia Ahern. Um, H.P. Lovecraft's The Call of Cthulhu and Other Weird Stories. Dark Tide um, by Jennifer Donnelly. This is the third book in the Deep Blue series, I think it is. The Cleaner by Elizabeth Herman. Li Lily's House by Cassandra Parkin. And The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Okay, I think I am finished now. <laughs> so, that concludes my books. I've been putting them away as I've gone along. Whoa, that bit is really queaky. Queaky! <laughs> But yeah, I've been putting them away as I've gone along, and lo and behold, I've actually finished it before I needed to go out. Let's see what the time is. It is 20 past 12, so I managed to do it. I'm very happy with myself. I'm only now realising that I feel like the camera's wonky. But yeah, um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, don't forget to let me know what perhaps top five books you think I should get to first. Um, I know there's a random mix of genres, like a lot of books that I think not many people would have heard of perhaps. Uh, I've got a random few classics in there that I pick up um, from charity shops and such. So let me know what you think I should give a go next. Anyway, thank you for sticking with me and thank you for getting so far to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested. Don't do it if you don't want to. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, I shall speak to you in another video soon. Oh, also, one fun thing. How many books do you think I held up? I'm not going to count them, so you can just have fun having a guess, but you'll never have that closure because I'm never going to count them and let you know the answer. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you in another video soon. Bye.